Hi everyone, I thought I would pop on here as it is National Book Day and share my top five books. I adore books, my house is littered with them, so it was tough to choose five. Apologies for the state of my face. Unshaven and tired looking today, I got home from Windsor Castle at quarter to one in the morning last night. Anyway, top five National Book Day, let me tell you who they are. Number one, Fantastic book by Norena Shopland, Forbidden Lives, LGBTQ plus stories from Wales. Uh, Norena is a fantastic historian, has written lots of books uh, on Welsh history and LGBTQ plus history. Most recently, a book looking at women who wore men's clothing. Um, and actually, the Welsh LGBTQ plus story is really underrepresented and untold. So Norena is doing a great job at setting that right. Secondly, a book I've talked about before, Gavin Plumley, A Home for All Seasons. Absolutely love this book. Um, Gavin and his husband, Alastair, bought Streps House and it is all about renovating and finding out the history of Streps House. So it's kind of like a domestic and historical book in one. It's absolutely beautiful. Really recommend it. Thirdly, fantastic title and part of the podcast, Bad Gays. You know, celebrating who we are sometimes also means encompassing the ones that we're not so proud of. So people like J. Edgar Hoover, people like Roger Casement, uh, you know, James the First, maybe even Hadrian. Really, really worth checking out. Lots of humour and some fantastic people you may not know about were part of the LGBTQ plus community. And talking of not knowing about LGBTQ plus people, Georgina the Duchess of Devonshire, the fifth Duchess who lived at Chatsworth House. Um, I've recently done a YouTube video about her, so do check it out on youtube.com forward slash gay aristo, her thruple with Lady Elizabeth and the Duke. But a bit old this book now, but absolutely fantastic. Amanda Foreman's biography. And then finally, if you love country houses like me, you have to know Adrian Tinnerswood. This is his latest book, Noble Ambitions, which is all about the decline of the country house after the First World War, and then the rise from the ashes of the country house as part of the heritage industry and tourism industry. So those are my top five for World Book Day. Uh, let me know if you have a book you'd recommend um, or if you like them you know, let me know what you think of them. And do check out my youtube.com forward slash gay aristo. But for now, I've got lots of meetings to get to and I probably should shave. Take care. Bye.